Wow, intense moments up in Brooklyn Park captured on squad camera video. This scene coming after a suspect fired dozens of shots into a townhome complex. Thanks for joining us here at five. One of those bullets ended up hitting a man inside his home. Our Paul Bloom brings us more of the video and the reaction from neighbors cleaning up the mess left behind in their homes. Watch this dash cam video coming right at you. A fleeing shooting suspect barreling into a pair of Brooklyn Park police squads Thursday morning. Now here from another angle, this one, the perspective of the pursuing officer. And that result, two cops with concussions, the gunman in custody after a short standoff. Be honest with you, this is just, uh, unfortunately, another day in law enforcement. Deputy Police Chief Mark Bruley, proud of his team. Yeah, I think what you see here on the video is another example of the, what police are doing every day out in our communities. And sometimes it's the untold stories, to be honest with you. As for the shooting itself, our camera's on scene a day later to document the chaos in the 6600 block of 83rd Court. The suspect firing indiscriminately, some 40 rounds, upstairs, downstairs with slugs, penetrating at least five different condos and homes. Well, I got it from the bathroom, from the wall, right behind the door in the bathroom. So far, neighbor Sumo Weeks has found three bullets that tore into his condo, including one right through the frame of his main bathroom mirror, with the shooting happening at about 8.30 in the morning, just grateful no one was standing at the sink. It's in your chest, so it's like pretty much, if somebody was in there in the bathroom, at the time uh, that happened, you know, they were, were stuck in the chest with a bullet, so that's crazy. One neighbor was injured, shot in an artery in his leg, responding officers credited with helping save his life. His family telling Fox 9 the 29-year-old victim is expected to survive. As for the suspect, Terry Johnson, who fled the initial scene here by reversing straight out of his garage as police arrived, is in the Hennepin County Jail. And police tell me Johnson has a violent and volatile criminal history and should have never been allowed out of custody in the past. This is just all too common for us in the, in the rise in violence that we've seen in this community over the last 18 months. Um, all too often we're seeing these suspects that have multiple felonies, that are in and out of incarceration, that have probation, they're out on parole or awaiting murder trials, and yet they're out here victimizing our community. In Brooklyn Park, Paul Bloom, Fox 9.